Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. This is Nathaniel Kempton Productions here today, and welcome to Railworks Terrain Simulator 2015. Now, today you can quite plainly see uh, that we are here at Cheatham uh, Colliery for Cheatham. Sorry. Cheatham Town for Cheatham Colliery. Uh, not much has changed at this particular station since the last video. I don't think I may have added a couple more trees or a few more houses or something. Uh, boing, 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 boing. Uh, anyway, um, the purpose of this video is to show off the small bit of root editing that I've been doing lately. Now, we all know that this uh, point here, which is actually set the wrong way, that's a spoiler warning right there, uh, of course this little siding branch thing here leads off to the colliery, which isn't finished. Uh, and may well be ripped down and completely rebuilt because it's a mess. Um, and of course you've got the the main line here which also uh, needs extending a little bit more and finishing off. Um, and further up here we have the new branch this is completely new, uh, and this, if we fly along a little way, I don't know how far we the camera's going to let us go. Not very, I don't think. Oh. About to there. So we are now exactly a mile away from Sheetham. Uh, and that's where we're going to be going, if you have a look here pick up passengers from Cheetham uh, Reservoir arrivals and here we have the new station ooh yeah spoilers uh, so without further ado uh, I must uh, first of all apologize for how quiet I am today uh, and the amount of lag we're getting uh, there's fuck all I can do about either of them but uh, let's try anyway So uh, here we go. Yeah, better frame rates up here apparently. You can see it's quite a windy day the way the smoke's going straight across there, look. If the lag gets too much, which it inevitably will do, I will just stop the video. But it should be alright, it's struggling here because there's quite a lot of assets. Uh, all the trees and all the vegetation and all the little houses and all the detail and such like it. There's quite a lot for the computer to cope with, so... Bear with me a sec till I find. There we are. We're getting there. It'll improve once we get past the colliery. So, uh, yeah. So this is the, the new section of line with improved frame rates. Uh, it's all flat all the way, you can see here. 
flat as a pancake. Yuck. Uh, I think the lag's improving slowly. It's like in a cab. Oh, it's better in a cab. Yeah, so, uh... How are we all? We all good? Fantastic. Hello, fireman. Hello. Hello. Ha <laughs> Twelve, thirteen frames a second. Wow. Going well. Sorry if I don't talk very much, there's nothing really to say. Apart from, look, here's the route, enjoy it. And the lag, enjoy the lag too. So I've cheated a little bit. Uh, I've put Railworks into a smaller window. I don't know if it's working or not. I'm still getting 12 FPS outside for some reason. And 9 in the cab. So, uh, yeah, it hasn't worked at all. So, here we are arriving at the. Uh, latest station. Sorry I had to do the a few jump cuts there. Uh, Railworks wasn't coping uh, with the amount of lag uh, that was uh, <coughs> that we was experiencing. Uh, station's not complete as you can see there's no uh, there's no um, uh, fence over there so that needs sorting. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, most of it is complete, though. There's a few. Obviously, there's always going to be a few things that need that need doing. Uh, as you can see, we've got a rather unusual uh, turntable. Uh, configuration over here. Uh, I think this is the is it the bath turntable? Uh, yeah, something like that. Can't read that. Uh, so you've got a spur coming off for it here. Uh, and then you go on that and you turn your loco all the way around. Uh, it can prove quite difficult, and what I may do is get rid of these bits here uh, to make life a little bit easier. Um, and then once you've turned, you simply roll back and stick your engine here somewhere or in the shed. Uh, and then the station pilot, which at the moment appears to be uh, Idris, will roll back, couple up to the coaches, drag them out, dump them in this platform because if you notice we've got a signal here uh, and if I go into the map uh, this one is departures and this one is arrivals see there um, and it just makes things a little bit more interesting when you're in a free roam scenario uh, and when the route is finished completely and I've managed to work out how to do AI traffic there will be AI passenger trains that roll in uh, the engines will be uncoupled, turned and, and put on shed and then the challenge is uh, to get the little station pilot here to shunt the coaches into the next platform uh, maybe add some more coaches, maybe take some coaches away um, and just generally uh, create different challenges. So there could be uh, that handbrake didn't work. 
there could be a big, uh, a long, heavy mineral uh, <coughs> train that's pulled in that needs that needs sorting or something maybe. Uh, and as you can see, the railway company, uh, the railway rather, the line used to continue through the tunnel, uh, but doesn't uh, anymore. Uh, Uh, well, it will do eventually. <coughs> I just haven't got round to doing it yet. Mainly because I'm lazy. Ah, uh, but um, well, that's me. Uh, not much to say, really. Uh, it's taken quite a while to get it like this. The lake was the most difficult. The, sorry, the reservoir uh, was the most difficult part about it. Uh, quite pretty actually. Um, again, the reservoir leaky thing isn't finished yet. There's going to be some, uh, well there needs to be some patch up work over here and down here. And, and this bit down here needs sorting as well. If we dive under the water, uh, this needs sorting uh, because, well it makes it, from a distance, it makes it look like it's a waterfall. Uh, so that definitely needs uh, sorting. Just going to tend to our loco for a little bit. Um, I shan't show you the route back, uh, but what I will do is fly along and show you the parts that you've missed. There isn't anything you missed really apart from this little water thing. Uh, the scenery along this section is very basic. There isn't going to be very much scenery at all. Um, there may be a few bridges added, maybe some footpaths, a couple of houses, the odd cottage perhaps. Uh, but nothing, nothing, uh, nothing drastic, um, because, well, rail works. Um, and as you can see, for once in my life, I actually managed to get the platform uh, a decent size. It fits, what's that, one, two, three, four, five coaches, I think that is. One, two, three, yeah, four or five. It fits five coaches in both sides quite nicely. So, uh, five coaches is probably a little bit too much. In fact, you can fit another coach in. Like you can fit a sixth coach in there if you wanted to. But of course, you need you need braking space. Um, as I've said, the turntable is going to be neatened because it's a bit of a mess, uh, and these edgy bits here need sorting as well. Uh, and for some reason, I don't know if it's because my graphics are so low, uh, whenever I'm on a uh, turntable uh, in any locomotive, uh, this seems to happen. And I do not, for the life of me, know why. Uh, I've got no idea. It's just a thing that Railwork seems to do, and I need a car park as well. It's very unfinished. There needs to be needs to be some weeds around here. I've got a little bit of uh, weedage and clutterage going on here. I've got some brambles or whatever these things are meant to be here, uh, and some sleepers here, and I thought she was groping him for a minute then. Um. And of course, this platform needs a fence as well. Uh, <laughs> not sure where to put the car park because I can't put the car park this side because it's rail locked because of the yard. So I'd have to put it over here somewhere, which means there needs to be road access, which means uh, we'd need to have a road cut across at an angle across the track and disappearing off into the hillside there somewhere. Uh, which involve building road bridges, and I don't like building bridges. I don't like building tunnels, which is why most of my route, if we actually pan out now and see the route in its entirety, there are only two tunnels on the entire thing. We've got the short one here, uh, and then the shorter one there. Uh, there aren't any bridges, I don't think. There's one sort of here somewhere, uh, just before you get to cheat them. 
uh, and then of course you've got the very very small one here which is the head shunt where the head shunt would have continued uh, but yes I'm lazy and I can't be asked to root build properly uh, and I may well change the turntable as well as I've said take these sections off just to make it a bit more easier a bit easier to uh, use take that bit off and that bit uh, uh, yeah I've got a little housey type thing going on here as well uh, they, they are they are going to have gardens uh, I'm gonna cheat quite obviously and cut copy and paste them all uh, because that's how I do things uh, and I'll put a road going down this side and a road down this side I'll flip this row of houses the other way so the front is facing this way like like that these ones are uh, and then join it up to the road uh, for the car park access uh, it's going to be a very small car park actually <laughs> uh, and I decided to use a slightly bigger station building on this one uh, purely because the little one over here uh, I did at one point just have that but it looked far too small so I added this bigger one um, and I put a rampy type thing on this side with two little fence posts uh, I don't think it looks too bad uh, they're a bit the posts are a little bit crooked still so they need sorting uh, and of course the station's going to have lamp posts and benches and bins and stuff so uh, yeah so they are the changes to the Pine Valley uh, network uh, I don't know what's next on the plan uh, of course finishing this station off uh, put the fences on the lampposts and benches and bins and stuff and a few more weeds and neating the sidings up over here uh, and then once that's done uh, the main uh, bit of route editing I wish to do is this section here between Tunnel Junction and Newport South Junction Newport South Junction is still far too big. Uh, I will shorten whoopsie, the platforms but keep the loops the same size. Uh, purely because I can't be asked to rebuild the station again. Uh, and I'm going to rejig the sidings over here because they're a mess. Uh, and add a few more details uh, and such like. Uh, but yeah, the route is coming on quite well now, as you can see. Um, progression is happening; things are occurring. Uh, I've done I've done this in about in total a day, I think, from absolutely nothing, uh, from just flat terrain to this in about a day, I think. A day in total, anyway. Because I normally spend sort of two or three hours every so often uh, editing and then collaborate those hours together to get a, a total time taken. So it's been about a day so far uh, and it still isn't finished. Uh, there's no signal box, there's no uh, point rodding, uh, no lamp posts or anything. Uh, and you can see how far the scenery goes. I don't do it very far. I th you are supposed to do it at least two miles uh, from the edge of the track work. So really the scenery should stop here. But uh can't be bothered. So I never do it very far because my draw distance is very low anyway. And if you make the hills big enough, if you make them tall enough you won't you won't uh notice that there's anything uh beyond them if you know what I mean so if you get down a track level you can see here the hills are nice and high uh so you don't know that there's nothing over there until you get to sort of this height which you won't be uh this height's the highest that you can get to anyway uh with the camera so you can see there that there's there's a few 
low bits that need sorting, especially this piece, this this bit here, uh, where you can see the flat terrain uh, behind. So that'll be sorted. Uh, that's about it. I realise I've probably bored you all half to death. Uh, my videos are very long and quite boring sometimes. I try and spice them up by making myself go hyper beforehand. <coughs> but that doesn't always work. So, <coughs> so thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.